guys uh, i'm going to connect my dell switches over the network uh, and the command is similar what we use in the cisco so i will use it ssh minus l the default username is admin and then i will just put the ip address which is uh, the management ip on the physical interface of the switches at the back side okay because it is important to connect uh, your out of band uh, port with the network so you can uh, do the configuration remotely instead of doing physically on the switch so i'll just put the the out of band management ip address 10220240 dot and the default password is admin okay so i'll just copy this command from here okay and it is admin so as soon as i log in to the switches i will get the warning message that default password for admin account should be changed okay for the security reason so as a first attempt i will change uh, the password which is admin admin so the command is uh, configuring for this one is username admin then password and then i will put the new password since i'm logging in the switches as admin admin so it, it is not asking to me as an old password okay and one more command i have to define here role without the role it will not proceed with this one okay so my password is changed now same thing i will do on this side in the configuration mode username admin password and then role sysadmin one thing more if you notice the cli interface for the dell switches is similar uh, to the cisco switches and mostly command are also similar except some some few commands which i will show you now okay so you will not feel that either you are working on the dell switches or you are working on the cisco switches the next command i will uh, configure as a spanning tree there are three types of spanning tree and uh, also in the available in the dell switches so spanning tree mode there yeah, i will check over here there are three mode okay which is uh, rstp mst or rapid pvst in my network i will i'm using rapid pvst so you have to make sure what is the spanning tree you are using in your network okay so i will put the spanning tree mode rapid pvst same thing i will do on the on the other side spanning tree mode rapid pvst okay and the thing in the cisco when we are in the configuration mode we use the do keyword to put the command so this keyword is also in use in the dell so for example i will put do show ip interface brief i can run this command with the help of do okay so it is also similar with the cisco the next thing i will configure the vlan the vlan configuration is a little bit different in the dell switches in the cisco switches we use uh, we create a vlan with the help of vlan command give key, keyword but in the dell it is not like this one in the dell it is as an interface vlan okay if i have to create a layer 2 vlan i will just put the command interface vlan and if i have to assign the ip address and make it as a routable then i will assign simple ip address so i will do one thing i will create uh, the management vlan so i will put the command interface vlan 240 okay so i can put the description as mgmt vlan okay same thing i will do on this side and now i will assign the ip address similar command as cisco okay let me check over here what is the difference here i believe i have to put slash 24 okay yes okay so this is the difference uh, for this one okay because i have already uh, configured the ip address uh, on the physical interface so it is not taking the same vlan okay so you see it is uh, clearly give you the message that this uh, uh, vlan subnet is already assigned on the physical interface second difference is this one that there is no uh, as a as a full uh, full uh, uh, subnet mask 
uh, you can configure in the Dell. You have to put it as a slash 24. So I will, I'm not able to do this one. So I will, uh, later on, I will change the management uh, physical on this one and I will assign to the inbed interface. So for now, for example, if I have to create a more VLANs, so I will make interface VLAN, for example, 10, okay? And I will create some more VLAN interface VLAN 20, interface VLAN 30, okay? So now I will put the command show VLAN and it, will, it is showing here that this VLAN has been created, but it is inactive. The reason it is inactive because I did not connect the switches over the network to my core switch. So once it is activated, it will show as active VLANs. Okay. So this is the command normally we are using in the Dell switches. The next important thing we have to create a VLT domain. Okay. So let me move to the VLT domain. There is a document available already. It is available in the description of this video. So how you can create a VLT domain. The There are four to five steps to configure the VLT domain. Uh, this is the all command available. I have to define the interface range uh, where for what I'm going to configure as a VLT domain virtual link ranking. And uh, I will do one thing. I already uh, copied this command in the notepad and I will advise you guys as well to put uh, all this command in the notepad and then just do the copy paste from this notepad to your uh, your uh, your Dell switch. So this way you will not make any mistake. Okay. So I will do one thing. I will just put the command from here. The interfaces which are connected for the VLT back to back is uh, I will show over here. Show IP interface brief. This is the interfaces which are connected with with the one Dell to another Dell from 1149 and 1151 okay i will uh, just put one small shot that where i have connected uh, this port physically on the dell switches you will see now Okay, so I will do one thing. I will just put the command interface Ethernet 1 slash 149 and I have to make it no switch port. To create the VLT domain, the ports which are part of the VLT should not be a uh, switch port. Okay, so you have to make it with the help of no switch, switch port command. I will uh, make the second now. Fifty one no switch port okay same thing do i will on the other dell switch no switch port okay and 51 as well no switch port okay the next command is i will create the vlt domain virtual link tracking domain i have to give the domain number and i will put discovery interface ethernet 1149 and 1151 with this command it will discover that these two ports are part of vlt domain 100 and that thing i cannot create more than one vlt domain at one time it will be one domain and this domain id should be similar on your both switches okay so i will just in the configuration mode i'll make it vlt domain 100 discover interface ethernet 1 slash 1 49 and 51 okay same thing i will do on this side discover ethernet 49 and 51 okay another thing in the vlt domain at one time my one switch will be primary and my other switch will be secondary so for that for that one i will define the priority the priority command is primary priority is 10 the lower number is uh, is the higher and the uh, and the uh, 20 uh, will be uh, will be the secondary so i will do one thing i will make it primary priority 
10 and this one I'll make it primary priority 20 okay so this will be my primary VLT domain the next command for this one is uh, define the backup destination because my both switches are connected back to back with the management interface so I have to to define it that which is your IP address uh, with the help of this IP address basically what will happen the peer keep alive will move over the VLT domain and the physical leak and if anyone is down it will provide the notification okay so I will just mention mention here backup destination 10 to 20 to 40 152 which is the IP address of my this switch okay same command I will give over here backup destination 240 151 okay the next command i will create the interface port channel uh, 100 and i will define this vlt port channel as domain to this one okay why i'm going uh, to configure this command because this way it will know that which port channel in use for the vlt domain okay so i will do one thing i will just copy uh, i'll I will write down here interface port channel 100 VLT port channel 100 simple VLT port channel 100 okay so this way we have done the configuration of the VLT domain. Now I will do some verification for this one. I'll come in the global mode and I'll put it show VLT space my domain ID. Okay, which is right now 100. Okay, so if you see over here. I'll show you over here as well. Show VLT 100. Okay. So my domain has been created for the VLT. And if you see here, the domain ID is 100 and the unit ID is 2. And this ID is, uh, is as a 1. And uh, this is my secondary and this is my primary. Okay. Okay. I give the property for this one as a 10. So 10 is the lower one and the 20, the higher number will take a preference. Okay. So the version for this one is 3.1 and this is the MAC address and this is the role property which I have de defined 20. So it will take higher as a primary one. After that, if you saw over here, it will give the VLT MAC address. This is system generated. It generated by, 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 by itself. You can change this as well with the manual command for the MAC address. Okay, then there is, uh, if you see over here, there is a peer routing is uh, disabled at this time. Peer routing timer is zero second and multicast uh, peer routing is 300 second and port channel is up. And if you see over here, my status for the VLT is also up. Okay, so let's see some other command. Show VLT 100 space. There is one backup link. If I want to see the backup link status okay so this is my uh, backup link which is the ip address of this side and it is giving the peer heartbeat status is up and uh, the heartbeat internal interval is 30 second timeout is 90 second and default vrf i did not define so same thing i will check over here show vlt 100 backup link okay so same information is available on the other side also the next command we'll check over here is mismatch if any configuration for the vlt domain is not matched on the both switches i can check with the help of this command okay so it will show you if any mismatch is happened so at this time there is no mismatch happen for example i have 10 20 30 vlan created and there there is no l3 or ipv4 mismatch so the status for this one is no mismatch okay so let me put the same command on this side okay so it is similar 
with the on the both switches the next command let me check over here is role okay with the help of this command it will show me that my current switch have which role at present it is primary and this one as a secondary role okay so for this this uh, the help with the help of this command i can see that my current switch have in which role so let me check another command uh, vlt port details i can check over here vlt port domain okay because uh, write down my port channel is down because it is not connected with my network otherwise it will show the status as up status another thing is error disable port okay so there is no port in the error disable at this time so that's why this status is showing as empty so uh, guys this is the configuration uh, for the dell switch is very straightforward only you have to create the vlt domain when you have uh, a dell switches as a top of rack or you are connecting with your edge servers something more i want to show you for example show ip interface brief command is this one if i have to configure any port the command is similar as cisco for example i will go in the configuration mode interface ethernet 1 slash 1 dot 10 spanning tree uh, i will this uh, i'll make it access switch port mode access switch port access vlan 10 or whatever okay vlan 10 does not exist so it will create the vlan after that i will do one thing i will just uh, spanning tree port type h okay this will make it as a fast port if my ports are connecting with the with the end devices like servers pc so i will put this command spanning tree port type h and then i will make it no shot okay so guys uh, this is the configuration of the of the dell switches very straightforward there is no big difference in the cisco or dell switches except for the vlt domain and uh, and some other command which 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 does not matter so uh, we have done today lab for configuring the dell switches from the scratch up to the vlt domain i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel stay tuned take care allah hafiz bye bye